Hey guys, Pink Yoshi here. Today we're going to install some Honda S2000 seats in your car. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you would need to do is cut away at the plastic packaging wrap. If you don't have plastic packaging wrap on your seat, all you need to do is just skip this part of the video. Remember that when you're cutting, be careful where to cut or else you will rip up your seat. Okay, that's enough. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, all you need to do is cut at the plastic, and uh, that's it. I just have a long, you know, sped up clip for, you know, everything you need to cut. And if you have both seats, which in this case I only have one, uh, uh you need to just mirror everything. This video also can be used for, like, other disassembled seats, because, like, you know, it's not that, like, specific. Except for the you know, floor pattern, that's all. That's the mainly the only thing that's pretty specific. After cutting, it should mainly look like this, you know, like a seat. But it, you know, not perfect because all the bolts aren't, you know. But it'll go in there. What well, kind of sorta? You know, you'll know what I mean. Don't forget to take out the trash. Now, in order to construct your seat, you're going to have to know what's on the seat. Now, on the top half of the seat, there will be a little console where you pull the lever in order to adjust your seat. And on the bottom half of the seat, there are four main contact points where the screws go. Here, 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 here. And while you're doing this, don't forget something to put your screws in, like a bowl or a plate, because you're going to need it. Lots of screws in this project, so keep that in mind while you're working on this. Now, let's get to wrenching, aka the fun part. Now basically step one, you're just going to have to take off this black cover to get into the nitty gritty parts of the seat. All you need is a traditional Phillips head screwdriver and it'll pop right off. Set it aside and grab your t second half because step two is test fitting. Once you're done with that, grab your 14 millimeter socket and lefty loosey because uh, you're going to take that golden bolt out. Once you're done with that, set it into the bowl and keep going. Step 5, go on the other side and leave the seat belt on and untighten the top washer. It's one of the main contact points for the top half of the seat. And as you can see, I grab my ratchet with the appropriate size and start to untighten it. Keep untightening until the washer falls off with your hand. And we'll move on to step 4. Four, I think, I don't know. <laughs> and once you're done, keep that top plastic part on because that is that prevents metal to metal contact. Next step, uh, actually permanently put the seat on this time, you know, not just test fitting, like put it where you want it and get your plate or bowl full of nuts and bolts because it's just downhill from here. Once you know where the right place is, uh, get your washer and start tightening that washer. Um, it might take a while because um, it do, it's not like it's, as you can see on the, the ratchet, um, and it's, in, it's stuck in the socket, so just give it time and it'll go in. And after a long while, it should stick on like that after that go on the other side and pick up two gray 14 millimeter bolts and uh, tighten it on the two big holes on the bottom uh, because those were where it fits obviously and uh, yeah just tighten until you uh, it feels snug in there and this, for this, um, I wouldn't need for you to use thread locker because it's a seat. It's not really like, you know, you don't need it like engine parts where it could easily fall off with all the pressure and everything on. But this is just a seat. You don't really need it. Um, I, I will use it on like engines, but like not here. You don't really need it. So just tighten until it's closing. If you are experiencing unproductivity with the seat tightening, um, turn the seat sideways with the console side up and keep tightening from there. Once you have it all tightened, uh, you can grab it 
and put your seat in the car. Right, now you are going to set the seat in either the driver or passenger side and with the seat belt facing one way, it's either the driver or passenger seat, but you are going to feel for the right spot. There are like places where these screws go in, but because this is a Honda S2000 seat on a Honda Prelude, it won't work. Because screwing in the seats is the part where it's probably going to be the most hardest, even though I said it's all downhill from here. Uh, but, um, there are four, like, contact points, like I said earlier, and once you screw those in, great, see you in the next video. The next video will be me installing the door panel, it's probably gonna be a one cut, but, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, here's the door panel right here, and it's going in there, because, obviously, there is no door panel on the car yet, right now, um, and yeah, bye for reals now. So I don't think you guys can pick it up.